Weighting is a feature used to compensate for a sample distribution which does not match the population distribution. To ensure that the opinions expressed by the sample are representative, the count for each respondent may be scaled up or scaled down according to a specific weighting factor. For example, if we fielded a study and achieved a proportion of 70% females and 30% males, weighting can change the data to make it more 50-50 if that is the fallout of the population that you sampled. Rather than each variable in the data contributing equally to the final result, some data is artificially adjusted to contribute more than others. Toluna Analytics uses RIM weighting, or Random Iterative Method. Weighting targets can be based on multiple questions, for example, gender, age, region are very common questions for weighting to be applied on. A target weight of zero is assigned to any case not meeting any of the target specifications. To set up weighting on your project, click the weighting button. Any weights that have been created will be listed here. I'm going to show you how to create a new weight for age and gender. I'm going to drag gender to the top hierarchy. and age to the second hierarchy. The default shown will be how many completes that we obtained in field for each group and it will show you the percentage. Either of these, the counts or the percentages, can be changed. For example, if I wanted 50% males, if I change this to 50 and then click on the auto readjust, it will readjust the balance so it'll be 50% as well and the target counts will be adjusted as well. If I click on this button here it'll confirm that everything adds up to 100%. If I decided to make this 51 and try to save it will let me know that the targets do not add up and it will instruct me to change. If I didn't want to change the percentage, if I knew that I wanted a certain number of completes here, I could change this to a number, calibrate as well, and it'll readjust accordingly for the percentages, and again it automatically adds up to 100%. Again I can do the same with age, so in this example I'm going to make this exactly 50% for gender, calibrate, come down to age, and I'm going to pretend that I actually needed 20% of my completes to be in the 18 to 24 group. Auto adjust that, check that it adds to 100%, and everything below has been readjusted proportionately. Just a note, there is an all, it always says here in case your project is still alive, obviously the targeting and weight numbers could change. So I can, I'm going to save this, and it brings me back to the ones that have been created. Gender was already created, I just showed you how to create age and gender. I'm going to check it off and then I can click to apply weighting. So now it's telling me that the report is activated and I can edit or I can deactivate here as well. Note the weighting is applied to the entire report and not on a single question basis. So it's either all on or all off and you can only apply one weight at a time. You can see that it's applied when you're looking at a question just in case that you've forgotten and when you export the data a W will be displayed in all tabs and graphs. Generally speaking, weighting does not converge when users set up extreme limits in the weighting variables. 
In our algorithm definition, the general convergence criteria is when the average weight deviation is less than 0.1%. If the algorithm has not converged by 20 iterations, then the algorithm is a failure, and we will display a warning message that will say the weighting algorithm did not converge. Thank you.